So everyone, welcome to our class customer experience center. For the next couple of minutes in this short little video, I wanted to give you a bit of a brief introduction to our Ariane 630 that you can see sitting behind me here today. In this video, I wanted to run through some of the main features and benefits that we have on our Ariane 630, and also then start to show you what we have as standard and what we have as optional fitment on this machine, so we can really get a proper understanding of how this particular machine maybe suits the different applications that you carry out on your farm over a year. Once we start to look at the heart of what's underneath the bonnet of this Ariane 630, we'll see a 6.8 litre DPS straight six engine. In our 630 machines, that is 165 horsepower with no boost. So we have confidence in the fact that we have that 165 horsepower available to us when we need it, regardless of speeds or gears. Coupled to that engine, we'll also have a variable geometry turbocharger as standard. So again, better delivery of boost and power across the RPM range, depending on the jobs that we're doing. When we start to go around to the front of the machine and we actually start to open up the bonnet, we'll see our industry leading service access here as well. How we can get access into each individual slice of the radiator package for cleaning out and daily maintenance. Once we again go a little bit further and we look at the front linkage of the machine, again, standard fitment of front linkage with integrated suspension here as well. This machine doesn't have it, but we can then also option front PTO as well for different front and rear mower combinations, for example. When we look underneath the machine, again, we'll see our standard fitment of proactive front axle suspension on our class machines. Again, automatic compensation for braking and any additional load that we put on the front of the machine. Once we then dive on into the contact patch of this machine to the ground, so the tires, we see a standard fitment of 650 rears, 540 front tires, but again, like any other machine, the ability to go up to, say for example, a 710 rear, or maybe down to row crops for different veg applications, for example. So around the machine on our 630 Focus models, we'll see standard fitment of halogen lights, but again, the ability to option those up to LEDs if you so wish. Once we follow the drive line back from the front into the center of the machine, we'll see that this particular 630 is fitted with our C-Matic continuously variable transmission. On our 630s, we also have the option to go to our hexashift transmission, so a 24 by 24 semi-power shift transmission. So again, we can really understand how we can tailor these machines for the different jobs that we want to do whether it's maybe more of a basic grain carting tractor with a mechanical transmission, or maybe more of an everyday general tractor with a lot of different use cases with our C-Matic transmissions. Our C-Matic transmissions, of course, well-designed and well-behaved in terms of the fail-safes that we have put into the machines. So no operator can do any damage to these transmissions in different use cases. And again, very simple to operate, even when coupled with our CIS Plus cabin. Once we get to the back of the machine, one thing we'll notice in terms of how we pair the engine to the transmission to the back axle is that we use a self-supporting chassis system. So by that, I mean that we actually don't have any chassis rails on our tractors. So our transmission is bolted to the engine and the back axle is bolted to the transmission. This gives us a very good stable working platform and it gives us better ability to carry more weight with mounted implements or bigger trailed implements such as heavy trailers in the middle of harvest. It also gives us the ability to get the tires on the front axle in underneath the machine for tighter turning circles with an additional longer wheelbase for better stability. Once we look at some of the points here in the rear linkage, we'll see things like standard fitment of 150 liters per minute hydraulic load sensing systems. In terms of the spool valves, we have four rear spools, which you can see are nicely staggered, so we avoid any wrapping of our knuckles when we're plugging in or taking out any hoses with again standard fitment of decompression levers. We'll also then see things like airline coupling points as standard. We'll also then see the ability to go for Isobus connectivity or maybe optional power beyond couplers as well. In terms of PTO, we have all of the different PTO speeds available for the different applications that we may be doing in terms of rear mounted implements here. Once we then actually move on to the mod guards themselves, we'll see then our well-known fender controls in terms of linkage up and down, rear spool valve control, and then also the ability to turn on and off our PTO from here as well. So again, very, very good connectivity and a couple of really well-designed fundamental points. 
So for example, you'll see all of our electrical connectors are up high and out of the way of any of the hydraulic connections which are down low. So easy to access, but on top of that, if we have any leaky hydraulic hoses, we don't have to worry about any oil in any of our electrical connections as well. So you now join me up in the cabin of our 630. And one of the first things that you'll notice is that we have our CIS Plus cabin fitted on our 630. So a more of an entry level armrest where we can again see some very good fundamental features such as electric spool valves, drive stick control for our C-Matic transmissions, cruise control on the here as well, and other things like function key layout and also RPM control as well. Paired with our CIS Plus armrest is also our little 7 inch screen in the A pillar of the, of the cabin where we can have some basic control of different tractor functions such as flow rates and spool valve timers. When we look further forward, we'll see our well-known steering column that's telescopic in and out and folds away at the tap of a button with our nice leather steering wheel. Around the visibility of the cabin, we'll also see on our 630 that we're now using a five-pillar cabin. So for the types of farms that are maybe in and out a little bit more often and opening and closing the door a little bit more frequently, it means it's a little bit lighter and a little bit easier to do as well. This machine doesn't have it, but we have the ability to also option our GPS Pilot CMOS 1200 here as well. So the standard fitment of SAT Core 15 or up to our RTK accuracy as well. Especially if we're using our different Isobus implements, a lovely little screen to have in the corner here as well. So everyone, thank you very much for having a little bit of a look around our Arian 630 that you can see behind me here now. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.